Oh god, where do you come from? Show oh, boy, oh they're everywhere now. Oh they oh they're crawling all over these walls. Don't be selfish. Get up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so selfish of me to die. You okay? Oh my god, ow. Oh, Ash just clocked themselves on the light over there. <laughs> it's it's so, like the light jump scared Ash's arm. Just so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so usually when we finish rolling the intro, I will cue Matt in and I'll do With this little, large like arm yeah. gesture Ooh. so he knows when to start. Yes. Um, but I have the light positioned in such a way where it fills up any of the dark um the dark. shadows. The darkness in my face and in my soul. Yeah. The we, darkness is full in. We have to cut. It doesn't make great content. So um, I put this light here and my hand hit the corner oh, of yeah. the light in a way that was not pleasant. No. So What did that light do to you, Ash? You just <laughs> clocked it. I don't know. I, I don't know who performed the aggression. I'm so sorry. I think it was Ash who performed the aggression. I'm so, so sorry. yeah, please apologize to that light. We spent two lovely years together and I never meant to throw it all away like this. <laughs> Right? I'm sorry, Draycast. That I was gonna say that light is like feeling ultimate betrayal right now. He's carried me through so much. Right? And this is the payback. Draycast, you've carried so much. <laughs> and and I gotta be fair, Ash. Like you've been with me for the last two years. This light has been with me for at least the last four to five. I know. So if I have to select loyalties, I might have to go with the Draycast. Okay. Draycast has never steered me down steered me wrong. I guess I understand. I know. Anyway. I'm sorry. So hey, uh here. <laughs> Draycast, I crack open my latest in carbonated <laughs> water to you. My, my latest in my experiment around carbonated water to you. Pouring one out for the Draycast. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, pouring it out for the Draycast. <laughs> this is a, uh, a bubbly. Ooh. Pretty good. Yeah, okay. Pretty good. In the way that carbonated water is pretty good. <laughs> No, this is what this is one of the better ones. Um, obviously, because there's multiple factors, right? You're, you got to figure in like how they're doing the carbonation and the quality of the water, but then also the the quality of the flavor, and then also also there's so many different flavors of of carbonated water. Like you might just wind up with one with a bad flavor. Like I had one the other day that was a bad flavor that was like mango pineapple. I'm like, oh, this is too fruity, and you know, I, I'm not, I'm not relaxing at the beach with this one, so this one's not doing it for me. Okay. I do really like the um nice. the like the vibe the aesthetic of the cans for of the bubbly. Yeah. I know this is nice. The the color it's nice and saturated. It's really pretty. It's 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 a very pretty marketing style. Yeah, I like it. And and the nice thing is since I've got like eight or nine of these now, I'm literally going down the line. I also got like <laughs> two in each. I got like two flavors of each different brand at this point. It's my own little mini food theory happening here on GT Live. Um. Anyway. Uh, welcome back to Bobby Playtime Chapter 3, where I continue my carbonation journey. We continue our journey through play care and uh, trying to eventually find catnap, I'm sure, at the end of this little journey. Ollie's got himself a plan, and there's probably some errors in it. I don't know. Uh, here we go. So, uh, when last we left off, we were being attacked by these cute little catnap guys, um, who I uh, assume I have to blast. I do have to blast them. That makes me kind of sad, because they are very cute and adorable, and I want to... You know, I want to give them all the happiness in the world. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Hey, Bobby Bearhug. You want to know how much I love you? Yes. How much? Is it a lot? I love you to the moon and back. Well, watch out. Hoppy Hopscotch is over at the moon, so <laughs> tell him I said hi while you're up there. I'm crazy about you. Okay, you're starting to get a little creepy there. A little clingy. I'm lost without you. All right, well, uh, might, might want to gain a backbone for yourself. I've been lost a long time. Oh, that's legitimately sad. Please, take me with you this time. Hmm. You won't leave me, will you? Oof. Rough. Rough guilt. Hi, I'm oh, great. Well, I'm glad we had that little walk down memory lane, didn't we? Love you? Okay. Did I access? This is where we came from. Okay. This is where we came from. There is a TV here. Good to know. So that does seem to imply that there would be a tape somewhere around here as well. No, no. I love that I have my own portable little flare gun. That's delightful. 
Uh, well, let's see. I mean, it might be up ahead. So we could always go back and fill this thing out. But historically speaking, they haven't been far away. Although in the school building, we definitely missed it. So that was a bummer. All right, so there's definitely another tape that we're gonna have to find here. Good to know, oh, hello. Leave my home. I, I really, I, I had no other choice, my friends. I'm so sorry. Trust me, I don't wanna be here. There is no, there's nothing I desire in this area, I just want to, I just want to get out, man. Uh, oh, I'm at zero, so I'll have to definitely manage that. Oh, here we go. Here's the tape. This is for this is for Katie, Kathy. Here, can I can I set this on fire? My little campsite here. Here. Okay, so we got a tape. Let's see what we've learned. Hey, catnap. Experiment number 1188. Okay. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. Oh, get out of here. Hey, uh, Theo. Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally, I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but mm -hmm. he's, uh, out, let's say. So you got me until they find his report. Interesting. That's suspicious. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body. And you've made <laughs> some real progress, pal. Fourth year. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, dog day, picky piggy, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. So we but shoved you in there. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't they it? They love the red smoke. Is his, uh, voice thingy still broken? Hmm. All right. That's not Theo, unsettling at all. Nobody's gonna save you. This prison is where you belong. <laughs> Great, we'll thanks. Out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Wow. Oh, that sucks. Well, that confirms Theo, um, which I believe was the name that we had discovered earlier uh, in one of the ARGs that we're kind of in the lead up to this chapter coming out. So that's good to know. Uh, but it also tells us kind of a new location, right? Which is the labs, which is somewhere we, we might be getting to then. Like as we're kind of, ooh, hello. Oh, hey, Bubba Bubba Fint. They're so cute. They're adorable. <laughs> these, these adorable little merchandising opportunities are so cute. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, I hear, I hear him. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there are a lot of you. Okay, you be, you be, you do be crawling. Oh God! Where do you come from? Show oh, boy. Oh, they're everywhere now. Oh, they, oh, they're crawling all over these walls. Don't be selfish. What? Get up. I'm sorry. It was so <laughs> selfish of me to die. Forgive me for being selfish. So clearly the <laughs> characters have some sort of aff affinity for us or, you know, they're like, oh, take me with you next time. So I definitely abandoned people last time I did this. So last time I ran away. So that's not great. Okay, watch out for you. Okay, I hear you. Where are you at? Okay, what? okay. Hey, just going to leave that there. Maybe I'll scare you away. Okay, so you're scared of it. I'm just gonna here. Hi. Oh, okay, that's where you that's where you came from. Hey, get out of here. Oh wow, there's a wow there whoa. Oh jeez, oh jeez, there's a lot of them. Holy cow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, there's a lot of them. Holy cow. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. No, 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 I fell down. Oh no, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am panicking hardcore right now. This is terrible, I, but I need to give, I need to give myself time to like recharge. Oh, come on. Oh, there are so many of these little guys. Oh, my, my hand cannot charge nearly fast enough for this. Get out of here. 
Oh, there's so many of them. This is not okay. This is not okay. Not okay. Stay back, villains. Oh, uh, can I can I even charge? Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can charge. Oh boy. Okay, nope, nope. Nope, no, nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop, stop. Get out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, nope, that's that's a that's a dead end or something. Oh hey, 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 hey. Oh good, we're at a save point. That's good to hear. Uh-huh. Oh boy, I'm getting it's so funny. I'm getting such strong uh, daycare vibes from FNAF. Another d tube maze. Okay, go. Oh, hey. Why? Oh, you are just frozen there. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave you alone. Hi, guys. Oh, boy. Okay. So there's a there's a power thing going on. Nope. Not, not on that. Hello. Okay, this turns on. Oh, no, get away, get away, get away. Okay, and it turns off as soon as I hop off it. Okay. Oh my gosh, get out of here! Can I pull you in? Can I pull you in? Okay, portal style, great. You just you just stay there, friend. No, stop, stop, scaring you away. Oh boy. Oh, they, they do, ooh. Stop. Nope. Ugh. Okay. Oh, they are, they are screaming. <laughs> Smiling friends, more like the screaming friends. Okay, these guys. Are you, are you safe? Can I run past you and be safe? Okay, aha. So there's another side to this that I definitely need to activate. Can I pull in whatever it is? I cannot. That is truly really unfortunate. Hello. So those guys are just hanging out over in glitch land. That's fine. Oh! Uh, he, wait! Hold up! Where did he come from? Where did he, he, he like leaped up! He leaped up to get me! That was not okay! Just like yeeted himself up to my area. Okay, so hopefully we get to start at this like little maze section. Yeah, okay. Man, the amount of... Hello. Okay. The amount of lore that I feel like I'm missing from having to like r run frantically through these areas is crazy. Oh good, that's still active, I guess. And they can climb up. That's also good to know. So that's how they got me last time. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Yeah, that's how they got me last time was by jumping up. So I just need to know that they can jump. Not okay. Not okay. I'm assuming... Oh, okay. Not okay. Get it back. Nope. Get back. Oh my gosh! God! Ah! <laughs> Came out from the side. It's time to harvest, okay? We need to do some harvesting now. The bu It's time to harvest. The body is still fresh, huh? Me? Are you harvesting me? I don't I don't know. I don't I don't particularly appreciate that. I'm not really in the mood to be harvested right now, thank you very much. I, I feel like that's inappropriate. Not really into the idea of harvesting my bod. There you go. Okay. Okay, well, no, well, no I'm, I'm, I'm caught. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm caught. Maybe it's close enough. 
Oh shoot, and I'm out of the old ammo. Recharge, recharge! Oh, get out of here! Get out of here, you creepy eyes! Okay, so I need to definitely draw this thing back up here. Stop. Okay. Oh, come on. Can, can I lift this guy up? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm dead there for sure. <laughs> yeah, I said to keep moving. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. That's not my fault that the box fell on my head and then trapped me under there and then just glitched its way on over. Okay, let's get back to our gun. Okay, no, 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 I hear, I hear you. Stop, stop, stop. I'm fully caught. Okay, there we go. And away! Okay, so here we go. These guys are all glitched. Kind of unfortunate. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I gotta find a way to get this block back into the right area, because right now it is definitely... It's, uh, it is definitely hot here. And it's not in the place where I really need it to go, particularly. Hey guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, what have I done? Oh, this is bad news, smiling critters. And I can't, and I can't lift it because it's too heavy. Oh no! And now I'm absolutely caught in this corner here. I'm totally caught. They can't find me. Thank you. Yes. Okay. We need to reset. We need to reset. This has gone horrifically <laughs> off the rails. I'm like, oh, this is a simple puzzle. We will be able to do this fairly quickly. To, oh no, I have messed this up beyond possible possible solving. Please help. This is a dire situation now. I go this way. What if I start this way? Because this is what should take me to the other route. Hello, everyone. Oh, there's just a big old pile of... Big old pile of all these guys just hanging out. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks, Smiling Critter. I just need time to solve the problem. Let's scare them away. I can't tell if you're, you need to be scared away or not, but I'm gonna hit it anyway. Okay, there. Oh, okay. Okay. Please. Double hand it, go. Great, yes. I will take that, thank you. Okay. No, okay, that's fine. You can jump scare me. As long as the block is in the right spot, now that's fine. As long as the block is there, I'm good. We are set. <laughs> as long as I'm not trapped behind a block, as long as I'm not having to like glitch through things, we are set. Excellent. Now we can move forward with this. As we were before, okay. Here we go. Perfect. I will take all those deaths. That's totally fine. There you guys away. You working now? Hello. What do we got? This uh is it gonna spin back around? Is that one being led to leave here? Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, I get it. Okay, just gotta... Nope, stay away. Stop it. Oh. Alright, I just need to hop off on the other side here. Here. Where I gotta go. Stay back. Stay back. Yeah, save. And close. Jesus. I'm just so paranoid now. Just launching fire everywhere. Okay. Hey. 
Hello? Is this the wrong way? Wait, why have you wandered here? <laughs> it just seemed like the appropriate place to go. When confronted with a spiral staircase in game, you usually try to head up. And that's the way I was heading. All right, but I guess we're heading down to the depths. So that's cool, friends. Also feels like a nice, like, stopping point. Oh, there's no room for me here. Not really looking for any additional room, to be honest. I'm looking for just the, the way out. So, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm not welcome here, nor do I want to be here. Ooh, pool room. Hello. That's broken. That's locked. Oh, huh, weird. So just a giant spooky pool. It's nice that, the, you know, for, for all the torment and torture that these kids were going through, at the very least, they were being taught basic swim skills. So, at least that's a plus. Well, I have my options. Do I go through the incredibly bloody door or the not at all bloody door? Incredibly bloody door. Feels appropriate. Although they both had exact same side. What else we got around here? I feel like there's this is like area of environmental storytelling, yeah. Oh, so we're in the prison now, the dungeon? Ooh, hello. Hi. Ooh. Ooh, hello. This little hideout for them? Where the smiling critters would like hide from, or maybe the kids would hide and live down here. It does kind of look like a like a secret hideaway area, hiding away from Catnap, maybe. Interesting. What over here? Like they were trying to escape. Oh, hello. Watching. I'm still watching. Hmm. A lot of cat, like a lot of catnap claws and stuff around here. Was this his bed, maybe? Where he's like, hey, I'm being kept in this prison. And they did say, hey, this prison is where you belong. So maybe that's it. Like this is, this was catnap's prison cell and it dug its way out. So Theo, catnap, was kept in here, was like, let me out, let me out, and they won't. And so eventually clawed its way out created a little like bunker down there interesting very cool I mean not cool because it's actually a, a tragic and horrific story for this you know this kid who has turned into this like evil villain who worships this this weird prototype character and is kept here under against his will like that's that's not great but from a like environmental storytelling standpoint that's really cool Ooh. oh come to save us Oh no, dog day. Nothing left to save. Not here. Oh, hey, bud. Bird catnaps from the angel. They're home. Angel? And Poppy's the angel? The pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin. Ooh. Eat away at you bit by little bit. Oh, this is terrifying. Fill what feels empty inside themselves. Yeah. Okay. Thing. Yeah. The prototype is his god. Yes. We figured that out. Does to heretics. I'm so his sorry. Toys follow catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. We try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Oh no! Oh. To me. You oh. need to get out of this place. I'd love to. Which way should I go? You need to live. Okay. You and Poppy could fix this. Huh. This okay, so we are good guys, maybe. The torment. So oh, sorry, guys. Can I, can I get you out of here? No. Leave me. Leave oh! Oh, no! Oh, that's horrific. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, he, oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Hey, hey, can I blast you? Can I blast him? Can I blast him? Can I blast him? Can I blast him? No, certainly not. Wow. Oh, that's terrifying. That, that was really good. That's so crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that's so gross. Oh, poor Dog Day. I feel so bad for Dog Day. Okay. So we got ourselves Poppy Playtime signature chase sequence. Oh, and we're going to have to... Hopefully they skip the dialogue every time. So I'm Poppy's angel. That's interesting. What a weird way of putting it. Yes, thank you. I wonder what it means. And so we're going to have to run out of here in this chase sequence. Um, not exactly sure which direction we're going. Are we going back? Okay. Okay, yes. Oh. Which way am I running? This way? Which, where do I start? Where do I start my run here? Where do I start run? Where do I, where, where, where do I start running, Dog Day? You seem to have a really good idea of like, hey, start running. But like, where, where should I be running to? Any advice you can give, deliver me before you're possessed by all the other little like teeny guys? That'd be awesome. Great. Because uh, that was clearly the wrong way to go. Probably a first option that I would pursue. And that, that, that did not yield me that good of a result. So we're going to try this again. Try again. Maybe I have to go through here? Maybe I have to go down. Oh no, no! Okay, yeah, that's... Yes, I would love to run. Yes, let's go. Where am I running to? Where am I running to? Where am I running to? Where am I running? Where, where am I running? Where am I supposed to go? I would love to start the chase sequence. Your rest is over. Am I just being reincarnated over and over again into like new dolls? Is that, is that what's going on here? The harvest, it's time to harvest. Some of these poppy lines are very mysterious and I'm, I, I need for the theory, we're gonna need to just like combine all these things together and figure out what she's actually trying to tell us. The fact that Dog Day though is like, hey, you're a good guy. You're the only hope. You guys can save us. It gives me a little bit more hope. Like, I'm inclined to believe Dog Day. Though, to be fair, poor Catnap. You know, I, f I feel bad for that guy. Is it through here? Is it, am I going through here? Yes. And I run. Where am I going? Where am I going? Definitely not there. I, hmm. I've tried the door that seems like the obvious door, which is the one that you're like walking towards when you enter into the prison. I've tried the one that I've gone back through so I can run out the front door. I've tried the like open prison door that is mysteriously propped open and has like a crack in the wall that seems small, but is like, oh, maybe I could crawl through this. I feel like I'm really exhausting a lot of my options here, Dog Day. Like, really could use just just one or two more details about where I'm supposed to head. That'd be just super nifty. Where? Is it, is, and this is, is this one of those classic times where I'm supposed to look up? Am I pulling myself up somewhere? Where though? Where though? Just keep going backwards. Keep going. Wait. What? It, so it just fell? Yes. So, why didn't it fall the other times? Um, you have a talent for games not doing what they need to do. <laughs> Is that really what happened? I think so. Or you didn't go back far enough. I don't well, because I was against that wall. Like, I, I, yeah, you did. Maybe you just weren't right outside the box. I don't know. So the floor is supposed to go. Oh, <laughs> there's so <laughs> many. Okay, I will say this to to Mob is there's a lot of like this sequence is a really good example of this where in the design there's a lot of things that are open and available that seemingly for me to, to do right there's a door literally right in front of me that's open with a crack in it so oh I could go there there's a door at the end of the hallway that I'm approaching which usually would mean like oh this is the forward progress. And yeah, there's a back door that we just entered through that is now locked that apparently is the right way to go. I'm just... Okay, so it's through here, I'm assuming. 
Is this gonna collapse on me at some point? Okay. Okay, so I am. Collapse on me. Collapse on me. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now I'm supposed to run. I'm supposed to run through here, I guess. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Do I have to crouch through any of these? No. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, that. Okay. Oh my gosh, are they locked too? Get out of here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna go left. I love me a good huggy buggy chase sequence. Okay, that's great. Oh, hey, hey, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, go. Hey, 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 little things. Stop it. I'm sorry, they're so funny. Stop it, little things. I love that. Darn it. They're selling plushies for these things, right? Oh, wow. Well, I need at least are. seven of them. <laughs> one of each, please. I will take one of them all. Oh, you, I'm, here's the thing. If they're not available yet, they soon will be. All smiling critters available to you now. I mean, I can get very disturbing off-brand ones. Ooh, love that. Uh, love that for us. Okay. So we, I, I feel like we made a decent amount of progress that time. Okay. So I need to just hang out on here. And then... I need to remember which way is the way forward, because it's a lot of disorientation. Okay. Fall away. Okay, so now we're up here. I gotta kind of crawl through it lately. Okay, that opens up. I think I took a left last time. Nope, that's a right. Nope, a right. Now a left. Now a left. Now a left. Hey, weird shutter doors in the middle of this place. Like, why would you do that? Why are you doing that? Okay, I'm taking a left this time. Gonna straight. Is this, is this a dead end? What am I doing here? I, I still hear him behind me. Still hear him behind me. I'm gonna go straight. Woo! Oh, slide! Cool, cool slide. I'm okay with that. What do we got going on? Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Am I still going here? No. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Once, see, once I knew where I was supposed to go. Oh, how do you start the sequence? Once I knew to start the sequence, I was like, okay, we did it. I do feel like there was some, probably some interesting stuff there at the end that I, I just had to hurdle past that I didn't get a chance to see, oh, which I'm bummed about, but okay. Wow. <sighs> I love it. I love the fact that in true GT Live form, it's like, hey, the easy part, which is Starting the darn thing takes us like 20 tries. <laughs> it's like, where do I go? What is going on here? Oh, have I found the literal glitches in this whole thing? And then when I'm actually tasked with doing the thing, it took us like three times. Yeah, we practice subversion of expectations. We do. We we subvert your expectation that <laughs> that you're gonna get gameplay here. And instead you're gonna get us fumbling around hopelessly trying to figure out how to start a sequence. But once we got it, pfft, we're gonna blow your mind with how good and how quick we are. Exactly. That was amazing. You know, that game, that gameplay sequence, we were on top of it. Hey, Dog Day. Dog Day says, fetch. Poor Dog Day. Go, go, as far as you can. Really, legitimately go. Why are you just standing there? You can't be here. You can't stay. I feel like I heard a metal album that had that riff in it one time. Someday says fetch. Huh? Um, you can get plushies of Dog Day and Catnap from the Mob Entertainment store. Can you? Um, thirty-eight dollars to pre-order. A little lot for a plushie. A little, a little high. But they're very cute. Sure. Hey, are you all right? Thanks. No ouchies or lost body parts? <laughs> no ouchies! I'm really glad you're okay. We misjudged the time again. Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's a recurring theme of the whole thing. But we misjudged the time again. We're back. I'm listening to Ollie talk to me about 
everything that we just went through, as well as uh, the lore of catnap, right? Like we're getting the deep lore of catnap, which I'm excited about. So without any further ado, we've escaped <laughs> from dog day and we're excited to be here. Let us continue. Actually, before we go in, I got some pro tips. If you go to settings. Okay. All right, you go to graphics. Okay. I lied, go to display. Go to display. Um, where you see gamma. <coughs> yeah. Um, bring that sucker up. Okay. Yeah, right there's good. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna hit back. Okay. Yeah, save it, okay. And then resume. Yeah. Are you making it lighter for me? I'm making it a little lighter, but I'm also doing another fun and spicy thing. Hit okay. resume. I mean, as soon as I hit resume, Ollie's going to continue talking to me. No, that's great. That's fine. Catnap turned into catnap. I guess there was some pretty serious accident. He almost died, but they say that the prototype saved his life, giving up See? his own freedom in the process. Huh. In catnap size, the Ooh. prototype Interesting. Us included, if we're not careful. Huh. That shrine, did it scare you? If you thought that was terrifying, just wait until you see the real thing. Anyways, we're really close to the end. Look, we're really close to the end, Ash. Yay! Oh, new key. You're going to the counselor's office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. Is it now? He always stalks his prey first. Oh, great. He'll take away anything you have to defend yourself. Hmm. And when you're at your most vulnerable, he'll kill you. <laughs> oh. Lives for the hunt. Wow, you say that with... Good luck. Talk soon. You, you say that in such a casual way there, Ollie. He lives for the hunt, and he's gonna kill you, and it's gonna be awful. Have fun. Good luck. What am I launching out of here? I love that this little ball is just flo floating here. All right, to so the counselor's office. Okay, can I show you the thing now? Yeah, yeah you can show me the thing. Sure, okay. Can Let's... you hit the tab button? <gasps> An inventory! Woo! It's, it's under tab. It's under tab. <laughs> We found the button. I thought it would be under I for inventory. And I... And it I wasn't. It, it, it was not. It was not. Oh my gosh, look. Note one. Note two. Four, five, six. <laughs> and off... Whoa, an office key. Okay, so I missed two and three. But these are the notes. Oh, R. Just a few weeks ago now was the hour of joy. Today, there's only silence in the school. I don't think any of us here know what to do with it. The hallways without the children carry even the smallest sounds as if they were shouts. The other teachers and I startle each other constantly. We'll have to get used to it. Something locked the front door this morning. We haven't been able to open it. So, okay, so Hour of Joy, uh, again, we've, we've covered this before, but just as a reminder, is the, the time when all the toys rebelled and kicked out everyone who was working in the factory, basically, like, slaughtered everyone inside, right? So it's interesting that... Miss Delight and the teachers in the school seem to not have been on board with that. Or maybe they were, but now they have no plan for after the fact, right? Today, there's only silence in the school. I don't think any of us know what to do with it. The hallways without the children carry even the smallest sounds. So the children are also dead? Did they kill the children? That sucks. Like, hey, we're, we're angry toys that need to be released out into the world, but we're also going to kill the little kids who are subject to this, too, who are also victims in this process. Also, why are the toys not escaping at this moment? Like, if the goal was, hey, we're going to retake this area, why are, is everyone being trapped in? We haven't been able to open this. This is interesting. Okay, so this is, uh, that's note one. So we skipped two and three. Here's four. The pit in me howls for food. I can't think about anything other than how hungry I am. Hardly have the strength now to pick myself off the floor. Barb. Barb was something that Mr. Light kept re referencing. We don't know who Barb is, right? I... Do we know who Barb is? I thought there was something about Barb being a thing. Well, Barb is a thing. Rather than, like, maybe like a weapon. 
of some sort. Oh, maybe Barb is the mace? It was the mace, oh, yeah. Oh, is Barb the mace? That would make, like, a bar, you know, it's covered in barbs, maybe? That's what I thought. That may, Barb speaks to me, though. She gives me strength. Yeah, I, that makes sense. I found that if I stand still, completely still, everyone thinks I'm dead. Barb says I need to eat, and that the other teachers would never see me coming. Anything to stop the howling. Oh. Missed the light. I'm so sorry. I had to eat. I had to survive. I ate them. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. Oh, poor Miss Delight. Aww. And this this coincides with what we've seen in chapter two, right? One of the things that Mommy Longlegs says over and over and over again throughout chapter two is, I'm hungry. We need to eat. I need to feed them. So the hunger of the toys is actually a really key part of the lore here. So it's interesting to see that it like that that is a driving and big motivational force for a lot of these toys at this point. They are literally starving. They need food to eat. And I guess they've eaten all the victims already. And now everyone's chasing me because I am a tasty morsel to them, like an M&M. The door opened today and I heard something enter my hall. Together, Barb and I found Catnap waiting. All this time, all this agony. It was he who locked the door. I know it. I wanted to kill him, but knew better than to believe I could. He seemed oddly glad to see I was all that remained. He made, we made a deal. We take care of each other now. Report what we see to the other and to him. Huh. So why would Catnap lock everyone in and just like let her starve until she's the last one remaining? That's weird. Like, why, why, why is that part of the plan? I guess, I guess that's one of my big questions, right? Is why is this part of, of the prototype and, and of Catnap's plan in this whole thing? Like, why would they, like, the Hour of Joy makes sense, right? Let's get retribution on these people who have wronged us and have trapped us here and have converted us into toys against our will. That makes sense to me. The strange part of it, though, is that idea of, like, well, then why are the toys still here? Like, if, if their goal was truly to, like, set everyone free... Why are they still trapped down here? And then more so, like if Catnap is the one locking people down here, you know, and, and keeping Miss Delight and stuff locked up, why? What What is the impetus for that? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, so I'm very curious about that. So this is, which one's this? This is the school that we were in. So that's the schoolhouse. The counselor's office. That was like City Hall. Oh no, this is, this is the home, at Home Delight. That must be the toy factory. I'm assuming this is the last place that we're checking out then. Yeah, probably. The one with the most lore. And then down here. This is a nice counselor's office. <laughs> this, is a big, this is a big deal right here. Big time. Anything on the outside that I'm supposed to grab and plug in? No. All right, here we go. Shh, go to sleep. Watch, huggy. Boofs. We're best friends forever, 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 forever. All right, counselor's office. Here we go. Oh, and here it is. Okay. Let's see what we got in store here. Candy cat snacks. I love that it looks like candy cat is literally licking everything in there. Nothing there. Just a lot of blood. A lot of blood everywhere. Your tools won't protect you. That's what you think, game. Just you wait. Oh, hold up. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this has got to be, I think I saw the battery up in there, right? Yeah. There we go. Plug it, plug it in, plug it in. What else we got? Playtime lemonade. Yeah, this, this, this looks about right for a counselor's office. Not bad. Cool. Oh, okay, we got tape. Very exciting. More lore. Oh, there it is. Who, who's this one by? Just want to see who it is. Let's see. This is oh, emergency alert on eight eight fifteen eight eight fifteen. So that's giving us a date. I'm wondering if that's hour of joy. Would be my guess. TV. Hello. Oh, emergency alert. Whoever made the emergency alert sound deserves a raise. That thing is the worst. Eight eight ninety five. 95. Emergency alert system. Playtime company. Workforce danger. 
At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Oh, man. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency so this is the hour of joy. protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. Get out. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and remain silent. <sighs> That's scary. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. This is like an analog horror Do waiting to happen. Hello. Open the doors now. The hour of joy has arrived. So it's, this is about with the mind control, right? So that is one of those things that we've talked about, and I don't know how important to the lore it is or how consistent they're keeping things. I bet I can do this. Yep, I use this with Miss Delight. I know this trick. Um, but in the early chapter, in chapter one, right, there was the the fact that like the death mini game or the the death messages that you would get would talk a lot about like mind control and and you having to kind of like follow and be subservient and what we've seen is it seems like the prototype is able to dictate what people do or kind of like control them in some way through videotapes or recorded messages and so that's why they're probably like do not make eye contact with screens or something like that help there's good old Braun and Bunzo again, just getting brutalized every way to Sunday. This is a weird setup. So if everyone's hiding under a table, I'm assuming this is what might have been their hideout. You know, if, if we just saw this emergency alert, and it's like, hey, we gotta hide from the hour of joy. And this is their kind of like pillow fort, right? But they were found out. And maybe these are them, right? Maybe these are those people. Because again, I've, I've mentioned this a couple times, but we've talked about how you know, we see employees being turned into bronze and bunzos potentially. So maybe that's that's them now. They were found out in that room. And that's why they they've been skewered. Ooh, hello. What is That's weird. What is that? Those are bugs, I think. Right? That's weird. What are we looking at? Those are fake trees. So these are fake trees, but real bug. That's a weird detail. Huh. It's like a little swarm of bugs outside. That's real bizarre. I don't know what that would be. This isn't a very like insect centric game. Is that strange? Counseling center, okay, oh, well, here we go. Graber's office, Stella Graber is one that we learned before. We had the idea, I believe, uh, again, I have to refresh myself on, on the theories of this one, but I believe we had thought that Stella Graber is um, Kissy Missy, if I remember right. So, Maria. We've got Maria. Joy. So much joy. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing really, huh? Okay, like, come on, baby, light my fire. Show me your paperwork! Hopefully nothing flammable in here. No? Nothing? Why are you showing me this game? This is one of those times where I'm like, you you brought me into this room for a reason. What is that reason? Joy. Huh. Chemistry. So it's a teacher, so she's a teacher. Okay, Maria. So we'll have to remember Maria because I don't remember that name, but I could be wrong. Turn and go home. I, you know, I wish I could, but my train got destroyed in the process. Love this. Ooh. Ooh, hey! Oh, catnap be on the hunt, my friends. Catnap be hunting right now. Grab this better, yeah. Catnap on the prowl. Run. I mean, I would take you up on that, but uh, I'm gonna explore right now. The hour of joy. A lot of dead toys just s scattered everywhere. More. So are the are the are the bugs there? Because there's more bugs over there. Are they just indicating like, wow, there's a lot of death and decay here? I'm not sure. I find it weird that it's around that plant. Right. It is weird, isn't it? Like. 
do you think they're actually bugs? Or am I, was that like a misread? I, I don't know. No, like I- It looks buggish. It is, it's, the placement of the bugs is weird. The one that, the, that they're outside of a window and that they're just randomly next to this one plant. But clearly they're intentionally here. Yeah. I don't get it. Maybe it's setting up a mechanic in a future chapter or something. The prototype has saved us all. Catnip seems very excited about that. Hello. Ooh, can I? And I still can't see myself. I keep expecting, like, maybe I can see myself. I've I'm, I'm just got this headlamp going. Just rocking my old, my old headlamp. I think through here now. Help. Sorry. I cannot do that for you. A little bit late to this party. Going up. Classic Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Looking up. Looks like this chapter is looking up. Okay. Oh, hello. Yee! Huh. Okay. Cool. Oh! And now we're back into the caves? Huh. That was a very short stint through, through that area. I guess that was like just for you know lore purposes and just to identify what was going on and reinforcing the idea of Hour of Joy. So they've introduced us to this uh, Maria character, which I'll have to dig back through kind of like the lore files and see where she's showing up. If I thought that um, for whatever reason, the fact that Rich has showed up in multiple multiple chapters at this point it feels like he's gonna be one of our I, I feel like that's our character I, I just have a gut feeling that that's who we're dealing with here can I climb you I cannot climb you you are deactivated how can I activate how may I activate please where are we hiding ladies and gentlemen I think over here no, nope, nothing over there. I bet I gotta look up. Bet that was my problem. Didn't look up. Classic Poppy Chapter 3. There it is. Of course. Of course. When in doubt, in Poppy Playtime, look up. Everything's always looking up. Okay, what do we got here? So we've got ourselves a little electricity puzzle. Oh, no. Oh, but there's another, there's another one down there, right? Down here. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay, so now. Can I go back? I don't think this is gonna work, right? Yeah. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, so for this one, what we're gonna have to do is this. We're gonna have to do it the opposite way, I'm assuming. So we're gonna have to go... We're gonna wanna start with that one down there, right? So here, here. Leap. Good, but now that we're down here, we're gonna go here. Here. Uh, oh, shoot. Almost. I love how our arms just stretch everywhere at this point. Like, it is ridiculous the level of stretchiness that our arms have at this point. It's just crazy. Okay, there. Through. There we go. Yeah, I got it. That wasn't too bad. That was that was a good one though. Uh, see, I like these puzzles. These puzzles are really fun for me. They make me feel so achieved. So achieved. Achieved. Uh, so now, oh, let's just unlock these guys. I see. Woo! Making our way through the caves into the office. Oh, and and we're back. All right. We now interrupt that short gameplay segment with more lore exploration. Thanks, everyone. What do we got here, ladies and gents? 
just a lot of fire hazard nice. waiting to happen. And me not caring one iota about any of it. Let it burn, baby! That's what the that's what they tell me when I die in this game. They're like, let it burn. So here you go. I'm I'm taking advantage of that. Taking it very literally. No? Just a bunch of cubicles, nothing particularly interesting. There's gotta be something. There's a lot of this chapter is interesting, right? Because there's a lot of like clutter everywhere. Oh, head of play, play care, which is Stella Graber. There's a lot of clutter everywhere, and there's a lot of detail everywhere, which makes me feel like I'm definitely, you know, I've definitely missed things, um, and I know that I've missed things. But it makes it you, you really gotta pay close attention to everything because there's a lot of visual stuff going on amongst the the kind of grander storytelling that this is all putting together. So Stella. Hello, Stella Graper. You're the one who went off the rails and started painting things other colors, right? And she got pen punished for it. We've got October and June as dates. Just worth knowing there. Recess, home, lunch. Got some clocks, which could be part of a, a code at some point. Got a TV that's partially working. Oh, hello. We've got another missing tape. So where would that tape be? Oh, here we go. Stella! Okay, what's, what's your tape say? Your tape says Hartman Incident? I think so. Right, Hartman Incident? And then it's right here and then nothing on the front. So okay, let's plug it in. Oh, you were right here. There we go. Insert. Ooh, sp oh, spooky kid! It's a spooky kid. kid has not seen good days. How was no. your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. <laughs> yeah, we are literally in a cave. Was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. Mm. I felt right at home from the second I entered. Huh. You opened that door the first time and you just know. You just know, don't you're you know? You're never going to leave. Huh. It's kind of like huh. leaving a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home? Yeah. Oh, remember Jeremy? Remember. Amazing. You'll be Jeremy perfect Martin. for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Hmm. Complications? <laughs> what kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um... The huh. form says testing. Jeremy <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Uh, don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I I don't Huh. I'm sorry. Testing. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. There's there's a lot in this chapter, and there's a lot that I have to like go back and revisit to piece together. There's a lot of names. There's a lot of references to things. There's a lot of lore, and you can see that they're very clearly telling us a story of these characters and, and their motivations and, and origin stories and stuff. I'm very excited to see where it's going, but because there's a lot going on, and because it's been you know, a couple months since we did a last Poppy Playtime Theory, and a, you know, in a couple years since the last chapter, it's hard to remember everything, so I need to go back and, and refresh on this, but there's a lot of really interesting stuff that's happening here. Yeah, it feels like every section of this game has, like, a very deliberate attention to detail. Yes, yes, which very much so. Which makes it so, like, enriching and yeah. rewarding to explore it, which is really awesome to see. Yeah, 100% agreed. That's one of the reasons why when I'm walking around th these cubicles, I'm like, oh, is, am I missing something on any of these desks or whatever? Because everything feels so clearly intentional and so precisely designed to tell us something right. about the story and about these characters, whether it's about catnap or the origins of, of play care or whatever. Like, you can tell that up until this point, I think they had a general idea of what the story was and they had kind of like the broad strokes. But you can tell here that they're like, oh no, we're, we're ready to share this with you. We have the full narrative mapped out. Like, we know what we want to accomplish with this. And we're going to tell it to you. It's just, are you going to be able to figure it out? Are you going to be able to solve it? Right. It's 
a really nice way of encouraging people to explore without being so super in your face about it. Yeah. Um, because you can play this game just by like running in and checking things out and leaving. Oh yeah. Or you can pop in and like go through kind of what you're doing, um, like area by area by area and check things out. So it's like, it can work both ways, which is really cool to see. Yeah, right? It is super cool to see. You know what else would be cool to see? What would be cool to see, Matt? The key to the next room. That would be so sick. That would be the best. <laughs> and you are not going to get that right now because I am not finding it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's not this room. I'm moving on. Right? In, in a very crowded office space with a lot of stuff. Curses. That is a bummer. <laughs> that is absolutely locked. I listened to the tape though. Is there anything? I listened to the tape! Did that unlock something for me? Do I get an achievement? Do I get a lore? Let's see. What am I looking at? Look it up. When in doubt, look up! I should know. When in doubt, I'm doubting. I'm looking up though. I'm not finding anything. It could be in the office. I just, I feel like it's got to be around here, right? This is the, the this is the better lit room. There's like a big lore tape in here. It feels like Stella, as like someone who would be in charge, would have a key to the, what seems to be the next area. Let's down the coat rack, key rack. I feel like it has to be in this room. Right? Is there anything funky on the ceiling? When in doubt, check the ceiling. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Got you. When in doubt, look at the ceiling! <laughs> <laughs> Every time, Ash! Every time! I saw a peep of the vent and went, hmm. Every time. <laughs> Always looking at the ceiling. Things do be looking up in poppy playtime. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh, hello. Oh, gotta turn and go home. Your time is running short. I I'd love to, again. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? I'd love that. I'm not very good. Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? Sure. Oh. 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 I see what she's going for here. I think I know what the red means. But we can't be out. I got a lot of red right up in here. <laughs> Trust me, I got the, all the red you need. Give it here. <laughs> I just imagined this like My Little Pony wannabe coming at us with like a knife. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Here we go. What do we got here? You are well lit over here. That's a no apparent reason. Okay. Hello, mysterious office. Got a brawn. Mysterious radiator. And a keyboard. Nothing on the ceiling. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> it only took me the entirety of this chapter to figure out. That is a, that is a busted up hallway. Oh, that is a broken down door. Okay, nothing there. Hell, a lot of scratches. Oh no, what's going on here? Maybe I should look up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, no. Oh, 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 hello. oh, 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 hello. Oh, okay. Ooh, I could go the other way. Let's go, let's go this way instead, huh? There we go. Okay. okay. There we go. Nice. Ready to go. There better not be any more of those little crawly critters. As much as I enjoyed their presence and thought that they were very cute and merchandisable, another chase sequence through the vents, I am willing to pass up. Thank you very much. I know this game loves its vent chases, but still. Anything through here. Nothing interesting through there. Anything through here. No, nothing interesting through there. Just slow crawling. Yee! Oh, 
Oh, hello. Gas. Got him. Nice. Back to the gas man. Yeah, we haven't done the gas man. Like, for, for this being the, like, chapter of poppy gas, we actually have taken a, a big break from the poppy gas, so I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thing that we're doing in this in this game. Okay, so we're looking for batteries, looking for love, looking for energy, looking for batteries. Oh, this is where we saw a Bunzo get, get got. Okay, so there's one. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of battery stuff going on around here. Nope, we're locked. What's through there? That's a mysterious and very important looking uh, power pole over there. Who's this? This is Lisa Boat Botian. Lisa Botian. Am I like passing out here? Can I take off my mask? Okay, nope, cannot do that. <laughs> I'm like, this gas mask is starting to really cramp my style. I feel myself. Right, there's a lot of, a lot of violence. Thinking oh. about the bunzos and bronze being representative of the employees makes them all the more disturbing. Right, it's true. Ugh. Right, it's really dark, especially with how like violently every single one of them has been killed. It's just terrible and horrific. I was gonna say with um, it's it's kind of interesting comparing this like Poppy Playtime. It's like, hey, you know what? These mascot horror games don't have a lot of blood. You know what? FNAF needs more of blood. Blood. All all the blood. Okay, we're getting a lot of names here, by the way. Greg. Fectow? Fecto? Very clearly, they're like, hey, we're gonna give you the name that is yours. You are gonna be one of these characters. Whether that's Rich, whether that's one of these guys from all these things that were, you know, all these offices or whatever. But you're gonna be one of them. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna to activate this one as well. You're not gonna be able to find out who until you you know, read more of the lore and solve more of the puzzles, but it's gonna be one of them. Ooh, gas production. Nate Carpenter. I can see us being gas production. More like gas production after I eat my beans. I was about to say. I know. Someone's job title being, yeah, you know, I'm the gas producer. Yeah, I'm <laughs> right. I'm CEO of gas, of making and passing that gas onward. I. <laughs> I produce the gas. Yes, certified in the one cheek sneak. <laughs> <laughs> if you smelt it, I dealt it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. The one cheek sneak. What happened to the other cheek? in that circumstance, Ash. <laughs> oh no, I mean, it's when you're sitting and you have to like lift up on one side. Oh, you're familiar oh, you with the one lifted. cheek sneak. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta do the lift. Don't wanna launch off into space. <laughs> right, don't, right. Don't wanna get launched. <laughs> so this is, so all of these guys are gonna open that guy. Uh, hey battery. So, which one of these is actually powered on, though, is the question I have. Hmm. Can I move you? If I take you out, what happens? Anything? Does that turn these guys on now? Nope. Huh. Man, there are so many good names for farting. Right. There's a lot of good fart names. I love that we started to, like, parse out the techniques. Um, to either like, conceal it or not. Right, to conceal it's, or reveal. <laughs> to conceal or reveal. It's so funny. I don't care what anyone says, it's funny. Oh, absolutely, a fart humor. <laughs> Solid, across the board. It works for a reason. What is it, if you smelt it? Uh, whoever if, smelt yeah, it, Yeah, whoever it. smelt it, dealt it. Yeah. If you denied it, you supplied it. Oh, I like that yeah. one. Uh -huh. That's good. If you ripped it, just admit it, which is a uh, Virginia Wolf off rhyme, but is also, I feel like, decent. <laughs> we are pulling from the literary classics. Right, literally, right. If Virginia Wolf were to shame someone and call them out for their flatulence, I feel like that's the way that she would probably do that, you know? Right, of course. There has to be some, like, some prose out there, whether it's from, like, that sort of romantic era 
um, or like a Victorian era of literature uh -huh. where they are describing such actions. Oh, absolutely. Flatulence? It has to exist. Abs oh, 100%. You know it. <laughs> so where, what am I missing here? Where is, yeah, what, what have you learned? Um, I didn't... I guess I forgot. I blocked this out of my memory. There's a fart joke in Dante's Inferno. Is there? Yes. Good for Dante. Good for Dante. What, what's the fart joke in Dante's Inferno? Um, it's describing a demon who, more or less, from this quote, uses his ass as a trumpet. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's not a joke. That's just a fact. It's just its just a straight... The, uh, the description it, is what we were looking for. Yes. Wow. That's incredible. I, I need to know more. <laughs> I must know more. <laughs> You're not seeing that demon appear in, in, in iterations of Diablo. Right? Like, please continue. Right? Please. Elucidate us. What am I missing here, though? But really, like, I am... Struggle lesson here. Well, while you read about flatulent demons, yes, I'm gonna continue to fumble around here in the dark. Perfect. Oh, oh! It was this mysterious panel that was very difficult to see. Obviously. I'm glad that I took that amount of time. Oh, that should open up this door. Nice. Can I, can I take off my mask? Yeah, there we go. Why was that so hard to see? That was so tricky for me to find out. Anyway, um, okay. So it looks like we're hopping back into a puzzle here. Here, before we hop into this puzzle, or actually, you know what? I feel like this is a good breaking point. But before we do, I think you need to read to me about the flatulent demon. I, okay. Please. I could pull more from that, but that was in Dante's Inferno. Okay. Um, to relook it up. Demon, trumpet. <laughs> I mean, or or if you you know of other demons that we should be aware of. Uh, other other demons. Or I other be aware popular of. media or ye olde media that had flatulence involved. Well, I did I did come up with one of them. Yes. Okay. This is from Act Three, Scene One of A Comedy of Errors by Shakespeare. Okay, by Shakespeare. By Shakespeare. Okay. Um, the line is. A man may break a word with you, sir, and words are but wind. I and break it in your face, so he break it not behind. Whoa, breaking wind in your face. Yes. And so it's not behind you, yep. The um, translation given by litcharts.com is, I could break a word with you, sir, and words are only wind. Yeah, man, I'm not man. I put in man, but it felt fitting. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'd break a word in your face, or otherwise I'd break wind from my backside. Oh. Um... So, those are between the Dromeos. Wow. Um, but yeah, so, you Amazing. know, it makes sense for Shakespeare to be the one to do it. Right? Uh, yeah, I, I, saying, that there, saying that there's a Shakespeare, that's not surprising in the slightest. Right? If you know any more Shakespearean or other kinds of old literary fart jokes or references, hey, feel free to leave them down below. Oh, yeah. We are, we are an equal opportunity fart appreciator. Oh, over here right now. <laughs> fart appreciators on GT Live. Appreci the farts. Oh no. <laughs> here, let me try this one last time, and then we're gonna we're gonna cut. I'm just in the midst of doing this little jumpy, little jumpy jumpy do, and I'm enjoying it. So. Boop -a -doo. Oh, oh, wait. Am I getting caught on something? Okay. Yeah. I I'm clearly not doing it the right way, <laughs> and I'm being stubborn about it. And I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but. We'll figure that out next time. So it feels like we're we're towards the end. Ollie himself said that we were at the end, so we can trust Ollie. Can we? Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> but uh, but I can trust his his sense of progress through the chapter. So right. without any further ado, friends, I hopefully next time we'll have wrapped this thing up. I know we anticipated this being like three to four. It looks like it's going to be five. Hopefully, I think so. I think okay. we can wrap it up next time. I mean, I feel like people beat this like a month ago at this point. So. <laughs> Got to hop on that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you uh, for making sure that you hold your gas until you're a safe distance away from me. Uh, and remember, don't be silent but deadly. <laughs> what? Watch out for people who are silent but deadly. And also don't forget that this wasn't a, a live stream, but it was a video, <laughs> video for you. That was oh, terrible. Oh my gosh. Thanks for farting. <laughs>